Good day everyone! I am Angelica Lingahan. I will show you my teaching demonstration in Mathematics 5 with the topic of reading and measuring temperature with the use of thermometer in a degree Celsius. Good morning! Good morning, class! Okay, please stand up and let us pray. And then the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning! Good morning, class! Good morning! Okay! Wow! I see a lot of faces today. And everything will arrange. Good job, class! Keep it up! Keep it up! So, before we start, I will be checking first the attendance. So, same present if I call your name. So, Abadilia John, Abordeeri, Baram Julius, Parilia John, Okay, Aurelia Eliza, Buena Jane, De La Cruz Ana, Ramos Mika, Mika, Okay, Tan Janeline. Wow! No one is absent today. Very good class. Very good. So now, are you ready for the lesson for today? Are you ready? Okay, but before that, I will show to you a different features of things that you will analyze if it has a hot or cold temperature. You will simply say hot if you think it is hot. And cold if you think it is cold. Understood? Understood? Okay, very good. So let's start. So the first picture, what do you think? Very good, cold. How about this one? Hmm, this one? Hot. How about this one? Cold. What? Cold. Hot? It is cold, very good, cold. How about this one? Hot. And the last one? Very good. It is cold. Very good class. You got it all correct. I think you are all ready for the lesson for today. Are you ready? So, but before we proceed to our topic for today, anyone in the class who can recall or review the last topic that we discussed, who among you still remember the topic that we tackled yesterday. Anyone in the class? Anyone? Raise your hand. Anyone? Yes, Liza. Very good. It is all about linear measure. So to know if you really understand from our previous lesson, let's have some review test. So this is the review test. So you need to give the equivalent conversion of the measure. So, I will give you 15 minutes for answering these three questions. So, you may start on answering. Times up, times up. Pass your paper in a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, before we proceed to our main topic for today, I want you to listen first to this problem. And you need to answer the following question that I'll be asking to you. Is it clear? So I will be read the problem twice. So this is the problem. So Sean was on his way home when it suddenly rained. And he doesn't have an umbrella. So he gets wet. Later that day, he's not feeling well. Shan's mother wants to find out if her son has a fever. Again, I repeat. Shan was on his way home when it suddenly rained and he doesn't have an umbrella. So he gets wet. Later that day, he's not feeling well. Chan's mother wants to find out if her son has a fever. The question is, 
who among you know the thing that Shang's mother can use to find out the body temperature of her son? Kuha ba na idea? Kuha ba na idea? What is the instrument or things that Shang's mother can use to find out the body temperature of her son? Hmm? Pressure on. Okay, John. Very good. It is thermometer. So, based on the problem that I read, so the topic for today that I will discuss to you is all about all about reading and measuring temperature using thermometer in a degree Celsius. So, class, take a look at this. I have an improvised thermometer. So, I know that most of you are familiar in thermometer. But to those students who are not familiar in thermometer, take a look at this. This is what we call digital thermometer. And this one is clinical thermometer. And the question is, what do you think does the thermometer do? Hmm? What the thermometer do? What? Raise your hand. Okay, I'll win. Very good. Thermometer measures the temperature of an object. So, we can use thermometer in order to know what is the temperature of an object. And when we say temperature, this is the measure, this is the measure of hotness or coldness of an object. In order to know if the object is hot or cold, we can use thermometer. And class, like what I said earlier, take a look at this. What do you observe about the thermometer? Hmm? Anyone in the class? Anyone? What do you observe? Look, oh, look. Hmm. This is a thermometer. Very good. What, Jay? Jay? Again, again, Jay. Very good. It has a red ribbon and... It has a temperature scale. So as we can see, this thermometer has a red ribbon and temperature scale in order to know what is the temperature of an object. And what do you think the temperature scale is for? Hmm? Temperature scale is for? Yes, Alvin. Very good, Alvin. The temperature scale is for determining the temperature or exact temperature of an object. Now, what do you think the red ribbon is for? Not a bread, hi, not a bread. The red ribbon in this thermometer, what do you think? Don't answer me because you raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, Anna. Anna, what? Hmm? The red ribbon represents to the temperature in a real thermometer. Okay, it is correct. Other answer? Hmm, okay. Your answer, Anna, is almost correct, but the red ribbon in an improvised thermometer, in a real thermometer, is what we call mercury. This is the mercury. So, mercury represents the temperature of an object. So guys, class, as we can see, thermometer has different parts. So it has a glass tube. It has a glass bulb. It has a standard temperature scales and mercury. So when the temperature is changed, so the mercury will expand or contract. So, so that we can read the, temp the temperature in the temperature scale. So, negative 1, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. So, do you think that thermometer is very important? Do you think? Okay, very good. It is very important because we can use to identify the temperature of an object. So, in this part, do you think that the mercury, that the mercury 
in the temperature or in the thermometer rather is important part of thermometer. Is it important? Very good. It is very important because without the mercury, it is really hard to us to know what is the exact temperature of an object. Very good class. So, okay, I know that you learned that you learned some information in this topic. So, I have some activity sheet that you will answer. So, this is the activity sheet that you will answer in your notebook. I will give you 15 minutes to 20 minutes to answer the following question. So, you need to analyze what is the exact temperature of the thermometer in every number. So, this is the question. So, I have a teacher's reminder class. Copying an exam is cheating life is cheating. Life is about copying. Is it true? So during last five minutes of examinations, every student gets a supernatural power. Is it true? So you you don't need to cheat. You need to answer the following question. Okay? You may start on answering. Okay, class, time's up, time's up. Exchange your paper with your seatmate. In a count of five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, number one, Anna. Very good, 65 degree Celsius. 65 degree Celsius. How about number two? Very good. Yes, Alvin? 43, 43 degree, degree Celsius. How about number four? Three, three. Three muna. Okay, John. Very good. 28 degree Celsius. Number four? Yes, Anna? 93 degree Celsius. Number five? Take your hand. Don't answer me in chorus. Okay, Alvin. Very good. 31 degree Celsius. How about number 6? Number 6. Yes, Angeline. 85. Very good. 85 degree Celsius. Okay, Mika. Number 7. Very good. It is 39 degree Celsius. How about number 8? Number 8. Number 8? Number 8? Yes. Jean. Okay, 9 degrees Celsius. Number 9, number 9. Okay, Alvin again. 58 degree Celsius. Okay, and the last one. The last one, the last one. Yes, John. It is, what? Okay, 75 degree Celsius. Okay, raise your hand. Who got perfect? Ten. Wow! You got it all correct and you got it all perfect. Very good class. So, everyone give yourself or give yourself a firework clap. Okay, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, very good class. So, now we will proceed to answer and question portion. So, I will do this if you really understand the lesson for today. Again, class, what is temperature? Again, what is temperature? Raise your hand. Yes, Anna. Very good. Temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of a things or an object. So, what is the tools Use in measuring temperature. What is the tools? What is the tools? Huh? Telescope? Hmm. Another, other, other answer. Okay, Jane. Very good. We can.
can use thermometer in order to measure in temperature. And what are the parts that we see in thermometer? What are the parts that I told earlier? What are the parts of the thermometer? Okay, Alvin, give one. Okay, the glass bulb. Oh, yes, Anna. Okay, we have the glass tube. Okay. Yes. Mika. Mercury. Okay, and the last one. The standard temperature is scale. So, repeat. Repeat, repeat. Repeat, Liza. What are the different parts of thermometer? Very good. The different parts of thermometer are glass tube, glass bulb, standard temperature scales, and mercury. And when we say temperature, this is the hotness or the measure of hotness or coldness of an object. And the tools that we use in measuring temperature is what we call thermometer, not telescope. Huh? Not telescope, thermometer. So now, I will group you into four. So this is the group one, the group two, the group three, and the group four. So again, I will give you another activity sheet in order if you really learn the topic for today. So you will ex report it in the front of your class. So you need to cooperate and add to each group in your group. So, this is the group activity. So, you can pray to choose who is your leader secretary. So, this is the activity. So, the group one will use a digital thermometer in recording body temperature of your classmate. Five person are will be enough. So, you are free to choose uh, to your member who are the person that you will record the body temperature. The group 2, listen, listen. Group 2 will use pictures of temperature reading and you will record each thermometer reading done by group 1. So you need to cooperate in group 1, group 2. So for the group, group 3, group 3 will have a pictures of different places and you will determine if that places has a hot or cold temperature. So these are the places that you need to analyze or determine if the places has a hot or cold temperature. The picture of Baggy City, the picture of a desert, mountain of ice, picture of a beach, picture of a house in a Japan copper, covered with snow. So these are the different places. So for the group four, group four will use alcohol thermometer to know the temperature of the two glasses with hot and cold water inside. So, for the materials that you need, I have the materials that I will give to you. So, you may start in doing the group activity. So, I will give you 20 minutes again. So, you may start. Okay, time's up! Time's up! You may report it in front of your class. Where is the group one? Wow, very good! How about group two? Okay, very good! How about group three? Wow, very good! And the last group? Wow, very good! So, I am so happy, class, because you really understand the topic and you also share your idea so give yourself a fireworks clap again one two three go one two three four five shh, shh, shh. okay class before we end our topic so i will give you a short short quiz short quiz so this is the quiz so get one fourth sheet of pad paper and answer the following question. So, again, I have a teacher's reminder. Cheating is easy. Try something more challenging like being faithful. So, don't cheat. So, 
answer the following question. Circle the correct temperature and write the temperature. So, I will give you 10 minutes in answering the short quiz. Okay? You will start on answering. Okay, time's up, time's up. 10 minutes is over. Pass your paper in a count of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Okay. So, before we end our class discussion, so get your notebook and write it on your notebook, the assignment for your homework activity. This is your homework activity. So, you need to find the temperature of the following. So, number one, a kettle of water was made to boil for five minutes more than after it reaches its boiling point. What is the temperature of the water? So, the second one, what is the room temperature if the mercury rose to 30 degrees above the freezing point? So, this is your homework. So, write it on your notebook. Okay, class, are you done? Are you done? Okay, very good. So, that's all for today. So, I hope that you really, um, really understand and really learn the topic that I discussed to you. So, see you on next week. Okay, class, goodbye, class. Okay, thank you. Thank